Hey guys, I am here with Alicia, and Alicia is the co-founder of Alice Day Marketing. Alice Day Marketing is a digital agency that is really dedicated to sustainable, purpose-driven brands that are trying to change the world. And today I brought her in just to have a conversation about how visual storytelling can be used in your product marketing. So Alicia, the floor is yours. Oh my goodness, uh, the screen is mine. So products and visual storytelling. Um, I think it's so important for business owners, marketers, uh, brand strategists to take a step back and remember they are also consumers. And the ads and the graphics and the stories that we buy into as consumers are exactly what we need to think about when we're marketing a company. Mm -hmm. uh, what I mean by that is if we're taking a uh, lip gloss or a chapstick, um, showing a photo with the chapstick with the ingredients without even saying that it's a natural product those ingredients those visuals tell that story the video uh component of it right so your attention spans are so so small as a consumer and we're inundated with ads all the time so how do we tell the story one of the brand what do they stand for what's their uh, their ethos like what's that feeling that the consumer gets when they work with that brand or purchase the products? And then how does the consumer envision that product in their life? And that's where visuals really come into play, which Karen, didn't you work your magic on? Of If it is a seltzer can, like how does that help my life? Is it refreshing? Is it me by the pool? Like what is that product actually doing to fulfill my life? So visuals directly hit a consumer to allow them to envision that product integrated in their lifestyle. So they're huge. There's not a strategy I see without visuals being a big part of it. Yeah, no, it's a really common conversation. And I always tell every client I have, I'm like, we have to hit two marks to hit the third. And what I mean by that is you have to figure out through your imagery, one, how are you educating? Because no one wants to read your description. So if people want, like you said, the ingredients show them the ingredients so they don't have to read the ingredients how do you educate them on everything in that description visually right and the next part is inspire like when you walk through a story like oh i want to touch that or like oh that looks really cool how do you make somebody have that moment to be like i need to learn more about this or this might be the product that changes my life and right. if you can hit those two points you can hit the third which is to sell to them you get them to add to cart to learn more, to want to be engaged with your brand. But you okay. got to figure out first, how do you educate and how do you inspire? And that comes back to the storytelling. It's so, it's so important. We were working with a product company that um, was rope in a canister that had a self-cutting component to it. And in all the videos, it was a male cutting the rope. Mm -hmm. So it, and my two-year-old at the time had the can and I see her cutting the rope so easily. It was almost like a fidget toy for her. And I said, that's what we have to do. We need a video of a child cutting the rope. It's not a male figure who has the strength to cut it. It is so easy and safe for somebody to use the cut. So the visual we created was a video of a dad and a daughter getting a Christmas tree and the dad's putting it on the car and the three-year-old is literally cutting the rope for the dad to use and that that visual showed the consumer that anybody can do this anybody can use this product it doesn't have to be somebody that necessarily needs rope for a project um so visuals did that without having to say anything exactly and there's so much more that goes into it than just saying oh i can take a photo and post it right you're like you really need to slow down and think about so many more aspects of why we're even creating this visual in the first place, right? And a lot of people miss that step, which is really just the thinking portion. They're just going through the process of, like, oh, cell phone, photo, post. Right. And I always tell people, like, you got to slow down, figure out why are we even taking our phone out? Why are you even taking that photo, making that video? Like, why? If right. you can't figure out why, we need to, we need to have another conversation. Right. You should really think about, like, what are your three pillars of four yep that you want to stay true to um, throughout the year and then work with a creative to say, okay, this is a story I want to tell within this pillar. And then the creative can come in and say, great, like these are the visuals that we need to actually focus on. So that when you're posting on social media, you're posting on a website, your email campaign, 
every photo, every video, every graphic, there's intent behind it. It's not just, you know, going mm -hmm. through the to go through it. Yep, for sure. So if anyone wants to have a conversation with you, learn a little bit more about your process and how you make all this come to reality, how can they get in touch with you? Sure. Uh, so you can always go directly to our website, elisedaymarketing.com. You can also find me directly on LinkedIn, Alicia Williams. I'm happy to chat with anybody and uh, geek out on marketing. I love it. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Kington.